Here's what happened so far. Our hero returns to Heliodor with Eric to help him recover the red orb. The pair set out for the slums to get it, but it's not where it's supposed to be. And so they go after the person most likely to have pinched it. Eric's old partner in crime, a ne'er-do-well by the name of Dirk. Has opened a shop in the posh part of the city, so the plucky pair head uptown. When they get there, Eric starts out angry at his old associate, but Dirk soon explains that he returned the orb to the king in order to receive a reward and set up his shop, whose profits he's been funneling into bribes for the dungeon guards in order to expedite Eric's, Eric's escape. Eric ends up thanking his old thieving buddy, who in turn informs them that the orb is now being kept in the king's barrow, an ancient tomb over towards Cobblestone. Since they're headed that way anyway, our heroes decide to take a detour to Ardentry's hometown on the way, and set out on the scenic route via the much-feared Mangle Grove. We'll just jump right on into it. Welcome back. Trust you had a peaceful respite. Alrighty. Let's go. Um, I have to relearn buttons. Give me two seconds. All right. Okay. I rested. Correct. Cool. All right. So, we actually, oh, isn't, I think we can go this back way. Because I don't think we're technically supposed to go the regular way. Yeah, cool, this is unlocked. So, we'll run down here. Head on out. I'm going to turn my headset down just a tad. Here we go. We'll head down this way. So as a reminder, we are doing a mostly draconian run. Um, so I guess I should go ahead and just highlight that. We are doing everything hot. We'll f hold on, we'll figure this out. It's somewhere. Okay, we're doing everything except for the one where we can't wear armor, uh, and that if the main character dies, the game's over. And I think that's it. All right. Any sign of them? No, nothing. Let's search the town again. <sighs> Look at all those lights. They're pretty keen to find us, huh? We better steer clear of Heliodor until the heat dies down. All right, through the Mangle Grove and onto Cobblestone. Let's do this. All righty. So we're gonna be making our way down to the Mangle Grove. Um, this might get a little sketchy, uh, and I do need to. I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah, I put the boomerang on Eric, and I think his boxers were the best thing for him. And then we've got myself right now just kind of going with the sword and board. We're not able to craft any equipment yet. So here's hoping <laughs> we can get lucky on that here soon. Let's just kind of, let's gauge some power real quick. Some little lamplings. It is nighttime, so monsters are going to be stronger, so it's a little riskier. Um, but the main reason, especially early on, I'm going to focus with some boomerangs for Eric, just because our AoE is really bad right now. And by right now, I mean it's non-existent. <laughs> so, uh, especially once we start ramping it up with some other party members that can 
cast some area spells pretty consistently and some attack all spells. Uh, I think we are going to try and just do that. Um, I'll go ahead and focus B. Oh, he doesn't have enough mana. <laughs> All right, so the thing with boomerangs is they will go through and hit all enemies, but as they go to each enemy, it has a, a less accurate chance to hit. I also think I have some stuff on the character builder I need to spend some points on. But that'll take it down. Okay, so that's that's manageable. We gotta remember, I don't think I have Easy. any... Um, whoops. Yeah. I didn't mean to do that. Um. Oh, he has three. Um. Yeah, so this will get useful and, and just be good attack all. I think eventually we're, like, once we start getting that good solid AoE, we'll respec and go for more dual wieldy stuff. And then I think here soon we also are going to put a pretty big focus here in this guile tree, especially because we're going to need half inch. Uh, so we'll save our points for that and try and get ready for it. Um, I think we still have, okay, so we still have three medicinal herbs and, and four on our party members. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put these three uh, onto Eric just so he's able to heal as well and then do we have a replacement sword that's a little bit more damage that's fine okay We'll get this item here. Sleeping hibiscus, that can be useful. In fact, thinking about it, I might go ahead and put that on one of our characters. We also do have the... Yeah. So the Mingle Grove, like, legitimately, it can be kind of tricky. Um, so I think right now I'm going to focus Seeds of Skill. I'm pretty much always going to be dumping into our main character just so we can do some fun stuff. Um, and some of the luminary stuff is really expensive. Uh, I think Strength will put onto us Deafness and Agility. I think I might actually just go ahead and pump into Eric. Because this is also going to help his uh, ability to steal, which is useful. And his um, agility is going to uh, be able like help us um, help him have like turns more consistently in a faster turn order. Because that'll be a Essentially, especially later on, really, really important. He's going to be one of our best, like, single target damage dealers in our party. So, we'll go ahead and get those. And then when we level up, we should be able to, um, should be able to, Uh, get our zap which is also going to be a good like a uh, group spell uh, so you have like individual monster types if you haven't played a dragon quest game before uh, but then you also have like groups of enemies we're one up for slime slaughter ah <laughs> i love these <laughs> traveling salesmen running into each other like this He's gonna offer us some special discounts. Have a look. But we can't buy things. <laughs> uh, we can go ahead and sell some stuff. 
Um, mainly gonna just sell this uh, Drusillian shilling. Uh, what does this do? Oh, I think it's just a crafting material. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, I, I generally, I'll hold on to these crafting materials for now. Okay, so Mangle Grove is kind of serious. We do need to take this zone seriously, especially at level 5. I don't know if I necessarily want to fight that smog right now, but I'll fight this. Okay, this is one enemy. We're fine. Okay, that's... Oh no, we start thinking about how much of a burden we've been. And Eric is suddenly feeling like he's being stared at. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay. Alright, we're gonna heal Eric. It's huge. Eric's back up. Alright, good. Sabercat's trying to be cute. That's a good block. Shield is paying off. And we take it down. Okay. I think... I'm gonna actually kinda wait till it's really start grinding. Ah! That, that's huge. Actually, ho okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is fine. Okay. This is bad. This is bad. Yup. Don't look at me. No, Eric's fly's undone. He's overcome with crippling embarrassment. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I, I was trying to remember the little shortcut to where you could heal in the menu real quick, because that's super useful, but I panicked. <sighs> okay. So Eric doesn't have... Oh, oh god. Okay, that's close. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use a an herb. I got this. Uh, an arden tree here, and I'm going to heal Eric just to keep him topped off. Okay, that's a big hit. I think we'll get our turn. This is a little risky. Okay. I was, I was hoping we didn't get shy poxed. But at some point we need to be doing damage. Oh, we tried to cast a love spell on Sandy. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Okay, we're pepped up. We are... Okay. This is getting sketchy. We are almost out of mana. <laughs> Smog is getting low, though. Getting real low. That's ten points of damage, and the smog is down. Let's go. Another one bites the dust. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna run back and heal. <laughs> that was a little sketchy. <laughs> um, yeah, cause we have... We have the camp there. Okay, we can't get into a fight. I don't want to run back quite that way, but we'll see if we can get to this middle point without getting into a fight. And we're just gonna book it. Let's try and grab some items where we can. I 
this is fine. Okay. Small scale, that'll be a crafting material. I was gonna say, I think, yeah, there's this here. If I remember right, I think there's like a mini metal back here. Again, the, the beginning part of the game, I'm I'm a little fuzzy on because it's been a minute since I've played. Wake Robin, anecdotal herb, cotton top. Okay. I could. Oh, there it is. I was like, I could have sworn. Yeah, mini metal. Sweet. So that'll be used later on. We'll just basically be collecting them. It's just kind of a collectible that we can turn in and get different rewards. Um, some of them are actually really useful. So. Like we'll have, there's a set that we can get a bunch of to uh, increase like our luck for items dropping. I think we can make it here. I think this is just a dead end, but I can't remember if there's an item here or not. Uh, yeah, it's empty. Okay. Come back to that here in a minute. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to that yet. That's a... We'll be back there later. <laughs> um, but we have made it to the campsite. Okay. Look at that. A campsite. And just when we needed one. Still a fair way to cobblestone. Let's rest up for the night. I agree. I still can't get over old Dirk. He didn't just go straight, married, shop in the best part of town. He went straighter than straight. Just like that. We used to be thick as thieves. <laughs> Literally. We travel the world, always on the hunt for loot. Ah, those were the days. Oh, speaking of which. I just thought of something we acquired back then that might come in handy. Yeah, I've decided. I'm giving it to you. You'll love it. We sure did when we got our hands on it. Oh boy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Behold, there we go. the fun size forge. Pop a few raw materials on top, bash them with the porter pounder, and bops your uncle. New equipment. And I'm not just talking steel swords and the like. Wooden boomerangs, a natty new jerkin. You name it, this thing can make it. Sweating over a hot forge was never exactly my style. But I have a feeling you'll get more use out of it than I ever did. You can't just go smashing stuff together willy-nilly, though. You'll need the recipe for the piece of equipment you want to make. Here's a little something to get you started. You should strike while the iron's hot. Woohoo! Learn how to make bronze swords and divine daggers. There are recipes hidden all over the place. It, treasure chests and bookshelves are always a good bet. Keep an eye out and you're sure to find some beauties. Sweet. We can craft. We can actually get equipment now. You can use the Fun Sides Forge to craft all kinds of equipment based on recipes that make use of the raw materials you collect on your adventures. New recipes can be found in treasure chests and on bookshelves, and you'll be able to acquire the ingredients you need by defeating monsters or investigating sparkly spots. So, this is good because not only can we get these items, but then also, if we don't quite craft it and later on, if we want to try and give it another shot, we can... Um, reforge them with some things called perfectionist pearls and uh 
and try and get a better stat. So you, you have your regular item, but we can, depending on how well we craft it, uh, make it a plus one, plus two, or plus three, uh, which is super, super useful. All right, so we'll get into some more flourishes later. For right now, the goal is, depending on the temperature here uh, of the forge, is going to affect how hard we bash it and how far this meter goes. But also, each time we hit, we lose a little bit of temperature. So it's kind of playing this game of, okay, how can we stagger it enough? And then you also have, like, random chances... Uh, for critical uh, strikes. But the goal essentially is to get everything into the green as close as you can to the arrows, and that'll affect the quality of item that you're making. So you can appraise it. And it'll turn out pretty well, which I think is just a plus one. So it's fine. We, uh, we don't have anything other, but then each strike... Like, each of those hits costs 5 focus, and we have that focus cost down below. So we'll finish it. Now we have a Bronze Sword plus 1. And that'll be a nice boost to our damage. And then we get two Perfectionist Pearls. So we will receive perfe perfectionist pearls each time we successfully forge a piece of equipment. We can use these to attempt to rework the item with the aim of doing an even better job. Don't worry about ruining your hard work, hard won works of art. Even if you fail to rework something, you won't lose it. And if you succeed, you'll come away with something truly special. Um, with it, I think I'm also going to make a divine dagger for Eric. So again, planning on generally using a boomerang for multiple targets, but then we can swap uh, because it doesn't cost anything to uh, our dagger for Eric to get some better single target damage. Perfect. That was a critical strike. We got one more hit. So this actually might be pretty good brilliantly sweet so that is actually going to be a plus three divine dagger for eric which is actually going to be really impactful early on so that's huge now as we level up we will increase our focus cost like our focus um like total amount of focus points that we have as well as we'll learn different flourishes to make uh, you know more efficient strikes or even control kind of the temperature of the the forge to go for more specific things yeah perfect we can bust the fun size forge at any time you want you just have to head to a campsite or dig it out of your bag sweet so let's get some rest Up and Adam Champ, the sun's high in the sky already. Time for us to head back to Cobblestone. And I'm going to go ahead and equip those items. So that's a pretty significant upgrade for us, just for um, hitting that. But like this Divine Dagger is going to be really, really strong. We don't have any boomerang boomerangs that we can craft but for again for single target enemies it's going to be a pretty significant damage upgrade uh let's see if we can inspect this cabin before that dog that looks super friendly first things first we cause some chaos nice Find a recipe book entitled Economies of Scale. Takes a look inside and we learn how to make scale shields and scale armor. So that... I'll probably make that too real quick. 
The passage of countless years has taken its toll and reduced this ancient tome to little more than a faded cover around some tattered scraps of paper and thread. So I think we can read that later in the game. Um. Hold on. So with this, th yeah, this is going to be a pretty significant defense boost for us. Okay. Pretty good. Solid. Nice hit. Okay. Yeah, so that'll be really well. So that means it's going to be a plus two. Which is useful. I I, I mean, obviously we try and go for plus threes, but that, that's not always realistic. So I at least try and shoot, especially like once we can start reforging things and get more flourishes and things to, to craft more efficiently, uh, I always try and shoot for at least a plus two. But we'll get these forged real quick. Beautiful. Okay. Really well. Sweet. That last one, getting that, that critical, that was useful. <laughs> Sweet. So scale shield plus two. Okay. So that, that's actually a huge uh, boost to us right now. So it does lo lower, I wonder what, okay, so this is not upgradable, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and just put the armor on, so we're going to lose a little bit of max HP and a little bit of charm, but our defense is going to go up quite a bit, and then this is just going to be a big increase. So cool. Um, yeah. Well, hello, puppy. Sniff, sniff. Okay. Let's see what's going on back here. Mark on Arden Tree's hand is glowing. It seems to be responding to the curiously shaped plant. Hold your hand out to it. Chop, chop, chop. Chop around the clock. One, two, three. Look out, trees. Oh, a woodcutter's life is the life for me. Who could this be? <laughs> what in the world? I repaired the bridge only yesterday, and now some blighter's gone and destroyed it again. If I ever find out who did this, I swear I'll... Ta-da! You called? Tricky devil at your service! <laughs> I went to a lot of trouble to smash at this stupid bridge. I'm not about to let you fix it again. Here, get a load of my devilishly tricky shapeshift beam. <laughs> oh no, that's the dog. 
you're a silly old woodcutter, the next minute you're a smelly old dog. I'm a devilish genius. <laughs> the Japanese now, voice for this character is also shall phenomenal. What you next? Oh, so much trouble to cause so little time. <laughs> Bye, doggy. Stay. <laughs> <laughs> An empty treasure chest. I think I've just hit upon my most devilish trick yet. What the heck just happened? You touched that plant and then... I saw all this crazy stuff. You really expect me to believe that this mutt here is actually the woodcutter? Huh. There's never a dull moment with you around. I'm gladder every day I broke you out of jail. Well... All I know for sure is that we're never going to get out of this forest until we get that bridge fixed. And if what we just saw was true, Rover here is the only one who can fix it. Why don't we find that chest and have a word with our mischievous friend? Sounds like a plan. Let's head back the way we came and see if we missed it somewhere. I love this game. It's it's always just so charming. <laughs> All right, so we saw the treasure chest up here. We'd have our equipment. Spoilers: This is going to be a single target fight. <laughs> but we're fine. Now, do I think we can do this at level five? We are pepped up, so I don't want to waste that. Okay, we'll give it. We'll give it an honest shot. <laughs> this might get a little sketchy. Okay, look, a treasure chest. <laughs> Here come my next victims. Ta-da! Introducing the one, the only. Tricky devil! Uh, hi. Hey, you're supposed to be shot by my devilish trickiness. No? Time for plan B then. Take this! Ha! <laughs> Seriously? The only thing I'm shocked by is how lame you are. Got him. What did you just do, oh, cheeky devil? Don't you know who I am? I'll teach you for my next trick. I'm gonna beat you to a pulp! This is Devil Man from Dragon Ball's origin story. <laughs> All right, the tricky Let's devil. Sweet. That's kind of what I was hoping on. So we have our pep. This is going to be a... Well, I don't want to quite burn it yet. So we, we still have some stat boosts that we can use from this. Uh, That was kind of a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and heal Eric. Oh boy. Okay, we still have a little bit. So you can see, like, on our character's portrait, how soon this is going to be fading out. With, if it's starting to flash like that, I think I'm going to go ahead and pop this. Just because I can't remember how much we have, and I don't want to ruin it by shy pox. Hey, what do you know? We called it. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and use a medicinal herb. Here. 
huge. And we're just gonna make sure we're conserving our mana so we can heal consistently. Okay. And just doing our job. We'll play, take it nice and easy. It's a bit of damage. Okay. Man is starting to get a little low. You okay? Oh no. <laughs> um yeah, we're going to use another herb for this, hopefully. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Enemies do have mana as well. So you know, we we can get through this. Like, it's not gonna be an endless onslaught. He's doing about 16 damage, so I think I'm gonna actually hold off on some heals. That was 20. I think that was a high roll, though. Let's get a little damage in. Okay. All right. <laughs> um. <laughs> That's our last heal. <sighs> okay. Let's try a sleeping hibiscus. That sucks. Okay. We'll just go ahead and wipe this one. It's fine. Alright, that's fine. So, we're both pepped. We're level 6. And filled with hope and energy, uh, let's... See here. So we have the Sleeping Hibiscus. I think plan is going to be we're going to try and put this guy to sleep after we do real decoy because Eric is going to be like losing his pep like right at the beginning of the fight. All right. <laughs> Let's try this again, you tricky devil. fine. This is fine. All right, you punk. You may have had the first two rounds. Okay. He is in the yellow, ladies and gentlemen. He is in the yellow. That's going to be a sizz. That's fine. Okay, I wasn't expecting the two turns in a row. We could try and reforge. If we have enough pearl, Eric's dagger, maybe to a plus three, that might be useful. Now that I'm thinking about it. We'll see how many perfectionist pearls it takes. So three extra focus. Uh, needs three pearls, so we can give it a shot. <laughs> Let's see if we can get something better than a plus one. Okay. That should be pretty solid. That's huge. 
Okay. That is a plus three dagger now. And we have a plus three sword. Okay, now we did just both recently have our pep up, so it's gonna be a little bit before we probably get that again. But we might get it around the halfway point in the fight, which could actually be really useful, uh, because then we might be able to just finish him off real quick. Let's All right, go. let's go. Starting out with the sizz, that's fine. We took it like a champ. Use that plus three dagger, boy. Unless he's getting two turns, I think we're safe. It's huge. Okay. We're gonna want a double heal, so let's go ahead. Here. Get yourself. Big heal. Gonna go ahead and just top off. I feel a sizz coming. Okay. So, if I remember correctly, usually when those text bubbles come up, that usually means that a character is getting ready to pop up soon, I thought, perhaps? Okay, there's the sizz. Let's go ahead and heal up our hero. Eric, focus on the attack. No, that was not a good stun. Oh, boy. Okay, he healed. Big crit! That's a huge crit. Okay, we need to be able to heal, though. That's good. He's half, he's below half. We're getting pepped. I don't want to risk it. Let's just be safe. I'm going to top Eric off. Eric is pepped. So let's go. Uh, I think I might just actually go for a real decoy. Just burn this right away so we can try and get it before he heals. 66 points of damage, that's pretty good. He's real low. Okay, that's not as ideal, but it's fine. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, we're playing it safe. We're gonna heal. He's super low. There's a sizz, but we take it like a champ. And there's the kill, let's go! That was ridiculous. <laughs> All right. <laughs>